Are you all in the mood now? That's as good as it gets. It's all downhill from now. But from here. I was on holiday and um, I did, didn't do a video on this tank because uh, the 10th anniversary gift that we all received. The Valiant. A valiant effort by Wargaming to gift us a tier 5 British medium tank as a gift for the 10th anniversary thing. Uh, I have not played mine yet. Um, and I, I don't know if I will. <laughs> I have received some. The reason I'm... I thought, hey, I might as well do a video to feature the... the is it Valiant or Valiant? I don't even know. But I, I promise you that this will be the most informative video. The most truthful and the most non-BS review uh, of this tank. Uh, you guys have probably all played it. Uh, you probably uh, all have your own opinions already and you've watched other videos of some of the more famous uh, content providers that have uh, explained everything you need to know about this tank, uh, complete with spreadsheets. <clears throat> but I will just do it in a no BS way. Everything you need to know about this reward tank. Number one, and this is pretty much all you need to know. This is the second slowest tank in the game. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. <sighs> and I'll just let you watch the rest of the game in silence because that's all you need to know. No, I'm just kidding. I could you couldn't make me shut up for uh, for 13 minutes. <laughs> it's a uh, that is uh, the most important thing about this tank. It's the second slowest tank in the game. It's excruciating. Uh, the only tank that's slower than this tank uh, actually costs money. Uh, the TOG. Which is more excruciating. So, uh, not only is this the second slowest tank in the game, let's call it the slowest tank that's free. The slowest free tank in the game. Uh, it, it's so excruciatingly slow that uh, that you can't go anywhere. You just uh, you just slowly trundle along like a moron in in your excruciatingly slow tank. But every now and then, surprise! There's an enemy uh, worth shooting in front of you. That's that's the number one thing you have to know. Number two, uh, speaking of number two, this tank is designed so that you become accustomed to and learn how to press number two. Because, um, because the regular ammo has 91 penetration and the premium ammo has 144. And it's a tier five that regularly fights tier sevens. So this tank is uh, designed by Wargaming to um, uh, to uh, encourage you to spam APCR like a motherfucker. So, um, it's so excruciatingly slow, and eventually, when you finally wallow into the action, you're, you're by that time you're so enraged and so so like filled with just your shaking and one to move you stupid tank but when you finally get there uh, you don't want to bounce any shots because the game could be over at any second usually in these low tier games with uh, the people running around like clowns but the, finally when you get there you don't want to bounce shots so you typically press two unless you're top tier that's the second thing you need to know about this tank uh, the third thing is um, uh, that when you are top tier, you you have pretty good armor, and low tier muppets may bounce on you. They may bounce on you, so you can get lucky uh, when you're playing low tier muppets. That's number three. And what else can I tell you? Uh, number four uh, about this tank is um, although it is uh, a premium, it's not a premium credit maker. It's a uh, it's a premium reward. It's a reward tank, so uh, you don't really make that many credits playing it. And in fact, if you spam APCR like a motherfucker, 
you'll lose credit. So that's the fourth thing you need to know. And what else? So let me check my spreadsheet. <clears throat> oh, look here. Uh, this particular tank has 12 degrees of gun depression, making it a beast on the ridge lines. So that's the, uh, was that number four or five? Uh, and that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. So it's a hunk of garbage uh, that uh, that's free, that showed up in your garage. But, but to be fair, to be fair, I, I always try and um, you have to like take the opposing side, right? To, to be fair, uh, a good, patient player who will not rip his own hair out because the thing can only go six kilometers an hour up any slope. Anyone who is patient enough uh, with the excruciating slowness of it can get himself into positions like this and use his gun depression and uh, dab the Tuki and all that and uh, with a a, a sea of Muppets on the enemy team that sit in front, uh, motionless in front of the gun. It's, um, you know, you can have some great games and have a little fun seal clubbing. Uh, got a good crew and all that, you know, stuff, right? Every dog has his day, is what I'm saying. Uh, even those really slow dogs that waddle around the park, barely moving, right? You know, those, those, like those, one of those really long hot dog shaped dogs that when you say here boy come come and they, they start waddling along and they can barely move their bellies scraping against the ground even those dogs have fun it's not just those dogs that run around chasing balls and you know jumping up in the air and have you know the happy ones even those stupid looking hot dogs have fun i guess they do tend to get back problems though later in life and uh, uh it's it's cruel the way they've the way they've bred those things, the, the hot dog, like whoever owns one of those, you must have, like, that's not a very nice thing to do an an to an animal is breed it so that it's a, a long, slow, horrible, you know, poor thing. I, so I always feel sorry for the, and that's what I've, I've, I have the same feeling when I see someone playing one of these. Here he goes, he's gonna go up this hill. How fast can he go, six? See, I'm not even lying. Five. He slowed down to five. This is as fast as it can go. He's not being careful here. He's like gunning it. He's got the pedal to the metal. Now you tell me how. Let me know in the comments, okay? That, that's pretty much my review. There's your no bullshit review of the 10th anniversary. Now, at least it's tier five. It's not a it's not a tier two tank that goes five kilometers an hour. At least, at least there's that, right? <clears throat> but let me know in the comments. I, I'm, uh, I, I seriously want to know because I make these sweeping statements like, you know, it's a turd, it's excruciating, I could never play that, it's too slow. And that's my opinion, okay? I'm, I'm giving you my opinion from my uh, perspective. But I would like to know from you guys, uh, how many of you are actually patient enough and would not want to rip your own eyeballs from their sockets while you play this? Like, how many of you think that it's, yeah, it's fast enough. I kind of like it. It's, it's, you know, I like collecting the new, ten like, how many of you really uh, like this thing? And that there, and there's nothing wrong. If you, if you leave comments, like, I really like this thing, I'm not going to say you're a moron, right? I'll just say, oh, okay. Well, because that's how life works. Um, to each his own, right? It, it's, a, it's incredible how tiny little things Someone will like something and someone else will not like something. Oh, look at her. Uh, she's She looks horrible. What do you mean she looks horrible? She looks great. Oh, if only her, her eyes were two millimeters farther apart and her nose, her nose, instead of pointing down slightly, pointed up slightly, and she had slightly auburn hair instead of black hair. Okay. To one guy, uh, she's horrible. To another guy, this is the most amazing woman I've ever seen. Okay. It's just a tiny little, a few millimeters here and there. A tiny shade. The curvature of the calf is slightly more concave than what I, uh, you know. It's just, it's amazing what one person thinks is uh, beautiful. Another person thinks, uh, you know, she, her face could stop a clock. Right? And I use that as, I could have used a car as an example and insulted less people. But, you know, you know the point I'm trying to make. I'm trying to be sincere here, guys. 
I'm trying to say. Okay? I could have used a man. As a his the way his belly rolls onto his lap as he sits down. I find that so cute. Some people, some women would think that. He's like my own Buddha uh, man, right? Well, whereas another woman would say that he's a fat slob. It's amazing. Everyone has their own opinion. And I'm uh, interested in hearing from you in the comments what you think and whether you believe, like, is, is this tank your Buddha or is this tank your fat slob is what I'm trying to ask you. And, uh, who are we watching here? I don't. Let, let's introduce this guy. Let me introduce to you Sebelin from the 99P clan. Shout out to you guys. And I don't cherry pick the. This is a Klausian who sent me this video, and we're featuring his game. And way to play, buddy. Look, watch this. Snapperoni. Yeah, there you go. How many armor is hit? And can you snap him again? Yes, you can snap him. He's actually fully aiming. Hey, the gun's pretty good. You know, the gun shoots fast. I guess I. To be fair, I should have mentioned that the gun shoots fast and it has decent alpha. And, Blah, blah, blah. And uh, when Muppets sit still uh, in front of your gun, like, is he still there? Is he a Muppet? Uh, he's backed up. No, no, he's a Muppet. Watch. If he sits there. See? When Muppets sit still in front of you, it's not so bad. Let me know in the comments what you think. The 10th anniversary gift. Hoo-ha! I'm, I'm so excited I might take mine out for a spin today. <laughs> not. Uh, I couldn't do it. It's too slow for me, but... Uh, in this crazy game that we call W.O.T. Woohoo! You know, there's some crazy shit. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you tomorrow.